my name is Marte and I'm an artist and designer and puppeteer who lives in New York in Washington Heights in Manhattan but I'm from Norway and I'm just about to move back to Norway this is my home which is also my studio and behind me you can see some of the stuff I do that is a puppet these are kind of monsters I make out of crochet there's some puppets there's a puppet yeah so today I'm gonna teach you how to make a marionette it's like a hybrid marionette because I put the stick in the back just because it makes it easier to work with on the video and then it has strings on the hats like Poptea regularly has and this this little creature is a troll or a Nisale, little tus dvarg, little creatures we have in Norway and Scandinavia who lives in the forest, who are little troublemakers. Sometimes they live in the house too, but I'm gonna make a little guy who lives in the forest. Here's another one I made. I think this is more like an urban urban version. It's hard to. It's hard to hide in the forest with these these colors. So it's partly what you call the scarf marionette. So the body is just a scarf and has little hands with strings in. And the head is a pantyhose or a sock that we're gonna make features on. And little beads for teeth and eyes. Or maybe we're gonna use buttons. This pup is gonna get a friend. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I'm gonna count to three and you'll know what it looks like before I know. So, one, two, three. All right, now you know. I still don't know. I kind of know because I have the materials. But what I like about doing puppets is that they kind of make themselves. Who is so hot? So, we need a scarf. I'm gonna take this off because I'm so warm. It's June. I'm very warm in New York. We need a pantyhose. We need some batting. We need a glue gun. We need a pencil. We need pins, needle, thread, fish line, scissor. And yeah, look, I'll show you on this picture. All right, so let's start. First, we are going to make the head. This is a pantyhose head. And this head is made out of a sock. It's a little thicker material. I like the pantyhose because it gets you a lot of details and it's very stretchy. So, let's make a piece out of this pantyhose with my toy scissor. Alright. So, I'm going to cut a little piece of the pantyhose and I'm going to take my batting and stuff it into the pantyhose like this, a little lumpy. Alright, then I take these ends and I tie little knots. And cut it up. You see how you can like see the batting through? I'm gonna take one more layer of pantyhose because I don't want to see the batting. Also, for each layer you use of pantyhose, it gets a little darker if the batting is white, which it usually is. Now, if I had a green pantyhose, I would have used that. 
as we're making a troll. But this is the panty hose I found in the dollar store. So it's gonna have this color. Just kind of the color of a little rock, something. Okay, so this is the head. Now we need to discover a puppet. So I play around and squeeze a little. See, mm, do I want it to have a nose? Yeah, I like them to have. I like them to have a mouth. So the way I made this mouth, like this, is I squeeze, squeeze, pop it like this, and I put little needles in. In needles. my mouth so overlap now I'm gonna sew that maybe you're really good at sewing or maybe you need help but if you're not really good at sewing yet you should start practicing because it's fun to sew what I like working with the pantyhose is like you can sculpt anything in fabric it looks it looks kind of like skin so you can sculpt the nose and the mouth and it all looks looks like you sculpted it in clay or whatever so I'm gonna put the needle in in the back here and put it out there because we don't want to see this all right and then I just go up and down where I put the needles the pin needles. This is going to define the mouth. Alright. Defining the mouth. I'm going to go back the other way just to make sure the mouth is there. knot, pull the needle thread through the loop, through the loop like this, like that, two, three times, just because we don't want the thread to fall out, show on this camera too, so I stitch through here and then I just pull, can you see that, pull the needle, mm. Cut the thread, careful so you don't cut the pantyhose because it rips easily. Alright, and now we take the pins out if I can find them. Uh oh, they're hiding. Yeah, I don't want a puppet to have pins in their mouth. Did I get them all? I think so. Oh, there's another pin. No, no, that's another pin. I got the pins. All right, so the puppet has an overlip or an underlip, depends on where we put the teeth. All right. So you want to find our eyes and teeth. On this guy, I used beads for eyes. Like these beads, I just put the hole in the front. Um, this one, maybe I want to use buttons. Let's see what that looks like. Let's use the. I'm using my pin needles. I have something called T pins. They're cool for this. They can use. So, I'll see how does that look like? Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Let's get some more. Nothing on the eyes. Can I fail? Eyes don't have to be matching. It's 
kind of fun when they're not. Let's see what that looks like. they're kind of matching because the outside is the same size like that is this is how how a guys can look girl you can move the eyes around a little see Maybe like this mm. maybe just very small little tiny little blue eyes now Oh, huh. let's see what else we have under these eyes. Should we have just one eye? Eh, that's fun. Or one big eye and one small eye. This is like going to be all green so we can hide in the forest. Hmm. So, just like play around with the eyes so the puppet can can find itself what he wants to look like Let's see if the eyes look the same what does that look like yeah let's try this for now We want some teeth. I have this. It looks fancy, but it's not. It has a lot of teeth. They're a little small. Got some other teeth. Let's see what we have in my bowl. Most of the stuff I use, I find at the dollar store. Like these beads. These guys you find at almost every dollar store. It's like in the hair section, they're for, beating, uh, for braiding the hair. Those make great teeth. Um, I'm gonna use these beads for teeth. Oh, she ripped. That's okay. We'll fix that before that goes crazy. Let's spin down the teeth to see how that looks. There's a little the disadvantage of working with a pantyhose is it does rip. But you can fix that, you can put a little glue on it, or even a little nail polish. You can stitch it up. Just be careful when you work because it's like if you get one hole, it easily rips and becomes a big hole. But that's the nice with making a troll, because trolls are like they're not perfect, you know? So maybe they have little little even messes in their skin. Oh! These, uh, the holes of the beads are a little bigger than the bit here. See, we have some teeth starting to look like something. Uh, for a nose, you can use like a bead nose. It looks kind of dog like a dog. I think, yeah, this one has a bead nose. Or we can use uh, more pantyhose, like this one has. Let's use some pantyhose, okay? So, you lay there. I like to just look at how everything looks before I stitch it down. Because, you know, sometimes you change your mind, you see something, you change your mind. You see how who your puppet wants to be. Puppet decides who he wants to be. Ha, it's warm in New York. All right, so I'm gonna try to make a little nose. little stuffing in here I'm making this little lump that I can I can stitch it on I can glue it on I am going to So it has a 
into a shape. Scissor. That's the scissor I found today. Mm. Needles. Alright. Let's, uh, let's pin this nose down. The nice thing with panty holes, you can you can draw on it too with Sharpie. So if you want to like color the lips, you can color them. Start with like much paler color than you think. You can draw a little like uh, freckles or I don't know. All right, this this is our pop ad. Let's uh, let's say this is how I want the face to look. So I'm gonna touch all of these things. So maybe I want to put the body on before I put the hair on. Sometimes that's nice. Or maybe I want to put the hair on first. Let's see, it's a little grassy hair. Mm. Yeah. Let's put let's put the body on. Where did my scarf go? So, I found this scarf, or it's a piece of fabric. I think maybe it's silk, it's fancy. You don't need silk. You just need something that's kind of not so stiff. It needs to be a little soft so it drapes. So scarves are good. This, this puppet is made out of scarf that I just bought from the dollar store. It's like $1 scarf or fancy, fancy silk. If you want to be fancy, fancy, you can hem it. But I'm not fancy, fancy. Or you can you can cut something out of a t-shirt. Like if you have a grown-up grown size t-shirt, you can t take like a square from the front, like a man size large. Should be good, it needs to be like, I don't know, like 15 by 20 or 20 by 20. Clearly, the bigger the fabric, the bigger the puppet. So, this is the body of my puppet. I want to find, I want to find the corners. And take all the corners and I turn it upside down. And that's how I find the middle. So that's the middle of it. And I want to attach, attach this to the body. And I'm going to do that by let's see, holding the middle so I don't lose it. What's the front and what's the back? All right. Okay. Blah. There. And I'm turning it upside down, inside out. So now the head is inside of the fabric and I want to attach it from the inside. You can glue it. I'm going to stitch it. So I'm attaching two needles and they're like, just like where the, you see the teeth here? This is the head. So they're on the underside of the puppet. And you can test, see how that looks. It's a little uneven. We want to fix that. You see, it's not completely uneven. But let's check. See the arms. This is an arm, and this is an arm. It's kind of, it's kind of straight. Just, just, just need to move it a little over. Let's test again. Yeah. Okay. It looks good. 
So now I can stitch it from the outside or I can stitch it from the inside. I'm going to stitch it from the inside. Thread. Right. So I just kind of want to stitch around in a circle or a little oval between these two needles to touch it. Like if you can imagine if there was a neck there. So and this is this is under the puppet, so it doesn't really matter how you stitch it because it's not been seen. You just go up and down like it did kind of like same kind of stitched with the mat around in a little oval circle shape like this. A little little bigger than the quarter. The bigger you make it, the bigger the shoulders are going to be. So if you make it very small, it's going to be have like a very narrow. It's going to be like very narrow. If you make it wide, it's going to look like it has wider shoulders. All right. There she is. Or he. I like I like months most of my monsters to be she's so I think it's a she now let's make the arms or the hats let's see so I find the two front corners two front corners of the puppet of the scarf let's see let me show this puppet See, right here, we have two hands. This is what we're gonna do now. Here's where the hands go. Back to the pantyhose. Cut a piece. And I cut that circle piece in two. So I have like two little squares. They're about this big. And I take my batting, I take two pieces of batting, try to make them the same size, like two little balls, and I put it inside here, kind of like we did with the nose, and I tie, either I tie not like this, or if it's not big enough for that, you can, oh, this is hard, but well, it's going to be hidden, hmm, that was not a great knot, maybe film it the next time I do it. All right, a tie and not like this. All right. Or yeah, it's like a fist. Or you can you put it in, and you can take a piece of thread. Let's use the fishing line. Oop, not that. And you just tie it around this see tie it around like this it's nice if you have someone to help you to help you hold it sometimes it would be nice to have more than just two hands you know if I didn't have this much pantyhose I could tie knots with a string or I could sew it but we just want this little ball like a little fist and I have uh, the edge, the front edge of the scarf here. I'm gonna take my little hand and I'm gonna wrap it inside like this. And I can use the glue gun to attach it or I can tie a string around or I could stitch it. I forgot to use the glue gun. So I'm gonna tie a string around. I'm gonna use the fish line. This is going to be the string that I'm going to use to manipulate the hands too. So I'm going to make it like, what is this, like 20 inches long. String. 
and the one end I'm tying around around the paw so the knot the knot sort of comes on the inside of the fabric. Just to make sure this doesn't fall off, you might want to put some glue on the inside. But I think I can do it with just tying. We can put some glue on afterwards if it doesn't seem secure. Yeah, I tied it. This is one hand. And the other side, I fold the little edge over. Put my paw inside or hand. It's like more like paws. And tie this. Of course, you can make more articulated hands. I have some puppets you made hands with. You can make hands with pipe cleaners. You can make uh, with steel wire. You can put on little fingers if you want to. These are very simple, quick hands. Fists. Okay, we have the hands. Cut this off. Then I'm gonna cut this excess fabric off. This is actually, I think, the very first kind of puppet I ever made when I was a kid. I took a workshop and I made a vampire. I still have that puppet somewhere. All right. So now I'm gonna show this camera. Okay, what am I going to do next? I'm going to plug in my glue gun. I'm going to need that. It's going to need a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to make sure I'm still filming. I am. So, uh, let's look at the hair. I don't know what kind of hair this puppet wants. See, this one gave like little red fuzzy hair all around this one I don't want it to be bald but I gave it a moustache I have this one from another workshop it has wig hair if you have like an old wig laying around you can use that if you cut your own hair and you want to be strange you can you can glue on your own hair but I'm gonna use some yarn let's see let's see what this looks like this or let's see what else do we have okay this one oh, it's like a grandma troll I put the whole thing on grandma troll um I just picked out a lot of greens this is gonna have a lot of hair, a little hair, messy hair, straight hair, short hair, long hair, braids. Hmm. You can also make hair out of old strips of old t-shirts or leggings. Hmm. Maybe that's cool. Like little ponytails like that. Hmm. Let me try that. Change my mind. It could be related to the other puppet and have this kind of hair. Play with the shape. <laughs> Do you look like this? Um, oh, I have this, this hair. Let's see what this looks like. This is like. It's called the uh, fun fur. Looks like grass. It's good for for something that lives in the forest. Let's try this. I'm gonna make a little mess around my head. I'm just twirl it around like this. And then if I want if I want short hair, I tie it here and I cut on the sides. If I want long hair, I tie it here. And then I cut here. So let's try it a little long. Let's see what happens. It's 
if you like the hair, I'm gonna suggest a little puppet. Very grassy. Yeah, maybe. No pigtails. I think I'm gonna give it this hair, but I'm gonna cut up some of these. <coughs> Make them shorter so they look more like little ears. See? Okay. All right. I have my hair. Here is my hair. A mustache. Oops. Make sure it's tied really well done. I'm gonna put another knot on it so it doesn't come undone. Just tie a piece of hair in the middle. So it stays together. And then I can stitch it on or I can glue it on. I think if my glue gun is ready, I'm gonna glue it on. Should it be messy or should it be straight? Let's try. Little little sidebars, I see. Like this, mohawk. Hmm. I mean like this. Like this. I'm gonna make it like little pigtails up here maybe and then she can be pulled on top then I can cover over my little where my my uh, panty goes ripped okay. so I'm putting a little glue where I want it want the hair to be and I'm gluing it down Whole set. I'm gonna have to glue it down a little more. Yeah, I'm gonna make one for the other side too. Where did my yarn go? There. Yeah. Alright. Careful with the glue gun because now it's hot. Alright, so I twist it around my hand. It is so warm where I'm sitting right now. So if you can tell that I'm sweating, I'm sorry. I just had to turn the air conditioner on because it was so noisy. I mean, I had to turn it off. It's very noisy. And it's in the middle of really hot June. And the ice cream truck is driving around on the outside. Saying it's time to come out and cool down a little bit. On the other side, putting the glue on, and the knot is here. I'm putting the hair on very carefully so I don't burn my hands. Alright. Afterwards, I can I can uh, I can trim the hair a little. Okay. Do you want a little hair on the top? A little puppet? What do you think? Maybe a little bit hair on the top so you don't look completely bald. What is this? A little piece of hair laying around. Just put that on top. Now, I want to control the head, right? I could do it like this, but it's nice to have a little handle to control it with. So I'm gonna use whatever I can find on my magazine. 
messy table. Hmm. I have a pencil and I had a dough. Oh, all right. Let's use this towel. But as you can tell on this one, I used a pencil. So you can also use a pencil. All right. So we want the back of the head. That's where we want it. I'm gonna cut a hole. Make sure when you use a pencil not to cut a hole too big because it rips. Like even if you think you make the smallest hole, it, it gets really, it gets really big. Like I made just a tiny little hole, and it's already this big. Um, just take my scissor and sort of dig, dig a little. Some I can use something sharp if I knew where my pencil was. I could dig with the pencil. I just want to like carve out the little hole so the rod can poke in, because you want the rod to go like this far into the head. So you have good control. Right, so now I poked a little hole and I'm gonna put this always gets really messy when I'm working. Alright. Ah. I'm gonna put a little glue inside the head first. Let's get in the back side. I'm not poking my towel inside. Oh as I can get it and then I'm putting now I have the dowel inside of the head I'm gonna put a little glue around it too to make sure it's like really secure and also I'm make sure the pantyhose doesn't break anymore so I'm sort of just like gluing it around the dowel and afterwards you can cover this with hair so it's a little messy that's okay as long as it's sort of not, you don't want it to be wriggly because then it's hard to manipulate your head. You want it to be kind of firm. Put stuff in your face. Alright. I'm going to put a little more hair on the back side to cover this towel. you want 